want some cheese, let me boy now. Hello, hello guys, this is the Aaron's Cheese Guy with another video. I just got back from surgery, so my back feels like absolute shit. Okay, it hurts so much, and I really want to die right now, but, um, I, I came through, okay? I I'm okay, guys. The Cheese God's okay. It's nothing, man. Shrug it off my shoulder. I'm all okay. Oh, goddamn, my back does really hurt. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh yeah, I do have some exciting news, besides the fact that my BACK HURTS! Ah, ah, ah. Hello, darkness. Oh god, not another Hello Darkness, my old friend. Oh my god, oh my god. Basically, you know how you can watch ads in Asphalt 8 and win stuff? Well, there's an option now where you can win the Chevrolet Impala blueprints. And I thought, you know, that's, that's impossible, no one's gonna win that. Well, I just recently won that, so that's pretty cool. I have, I think, 11 out of 14 of the blueprints, so I'm gonna get that car pretty soon, and I can make a Is the Car Worth It video soon. Jesus Christ, so I basically I was on local anesthesia for my surgery, so the anesthesia is wearing off, and I don't have any medication, so my mom's buying it right now somewhere far away, so it, the pain's getting worse and worse, guys, but you know what? This YouTube life, you know, I gotta do it. I gotta do this. I gotta make this video, so it's for you guys. Thanks for 3,000 subscribers, by the way. So for my two shoutouts, my first shoutout goes to Driver State Lover VN Storm TM, who doesn't have any videos, but still his channel is pretty nice, you know. There's nothing on it. Second shoutout goes to Alex Mo Diaz PG3D and more, who is basically a channel about reacting to stuff, different videos, and a lot of you guys love that type of stuff, so make sure to check that out. Okay, to the video. My back still hurts. Anyway, I'm not complaining anymore about my back, I promise you. Today's video is about the rarest cars on Asphalt 8 and what they are. Okay, I'm just gonna let you guys know. Most of these cars are the licenses cars, okay? The cars that require you to get licenses in order to unlock the cars. Most of the cars are, but I do have a few selections that are not from the licensed cars, so I want you guys to guess what those cars might be and put it in the comment section below. An honorable mention goes to the Camaro Z28. This car is the first licensed car that you can get in Asphalt 8, so you need 300 licenses. So it's not very, very rare, but to get 300 licenses is still pretty tough. The car, it costs a lot to upgrade, okay? More than the Range Rover Evoque, and it sucks at multi multiplayer, unlike the Range Rover. So, I mean, its direct competition is just the Nissan 370Z, that's how bad it is. So, top speed's not really good, nitro efficiency is one of the worst I've ever seen. And oh yeah, by the way, Nitro Efficiency video is going to come out soon, okay? So, you know, get ready for that. This car is just pretty much useless. The only good thing about licensed cars for this car is that it gives you a lot of drugs. Drugs! So it gives you Nitro starters, tuning kits, and extra tanks in its mastery. And it gives you quite a few of them, so that's really, really nice. Otherwise, this car is really useless. Don't use it in multiplayer like I did. I went down like 300 in just a few races using this car. So anyway, that's an honorable mention. Our next honorable mention is the Datsun 280Z, which is the second licensed car you get in the game at 750 licenses. Do not upgrade this car for pro upgrades, I swear to god. It requires 20 i6 engine cards, which is more than the BMW homage, okay? It is so much. 20 i6 engine cards, it's expensive to max, it's even more expensive to pro, at over 1.4 million to pro, and it's pretty useless in multiplayer. However, it does give you, once again, lots of tuning kits, nitrous starters, and extra tanks. DRUG! DRUG! I'd actually say more, but like, my mom just got back and, uh, when she's back, there's food, so I need to get some food right now. A few moments later. Ah, oh, this Costco pizza. Cheese on it, I want it Guys, I just bit my tongue while eating that pizza, so that really hurts. Uh, <laughs> okay, now, in WikiHow, it says the Datsun's pretty good at multiplayer. I disagree. I tried it. At any rank, it's terrible. I mean, hey, at least the car's free when you get 750 licenses, but it's not a good car, just ugh. So getting to our top five, the number five spot is the Lamborghini Huracan, which is the hardest R&D, hardest event that ever occurred in Asphalt 8. 
If you guys didn't know that, check out my hardest events video, the most brutal events in Asphalt 8, which I already made. It received a 2 to 1 ratio for likes and dislikes, which is awesome, guys. But anyways, this car sucks. Okay, like seriously, I'm just gonna put that straight out. See, this is quote unquote from WikiHow. Overall, the Lamborghini Huracan is nothing more than a bragging right that can be obtained after completion of its notoriously difficult R&D event. It's also useless in time-limited events and multiplayer, and it's super, super bad. It is not recommended to attempt collecting blueprints for this car, because it's 125 blueprints. So, if you guys have a bunch of Lamborghini Huracan blueprints, unless you're super, super close, don't get this car guys even if you even if you can like don't get this car it's so bad I don't want the R&D to come back it is the hardest R&D that ever came to Asphalt 8 every single challenge after lab 1 required over a hundred quality checks okay that's like 10 races okay 10 keys for one race that's stupid and in order to win, you have to max pro the car in order to beat the final AI, which is also very stupid. So if you have this car, you're a legend, okay? I'm just a cheese god. Those are cheese. Our number four spot is the best licensed car. It's probably the only good licensed car. It's superb for multiplayer if you tune it right. I tune it a little too high to the rank of 1320 something, which is a little too much. It's best in its 1200 to 1300 rank. But still, this car is fast, like super, super fast. This car, man. Sure, it's 1,050 licenses, but it's so worth it. If you didn't know it was worth it, check out my Is the Car Worth It for the Shelby Cobra 427, okay? This car is a legend. It goes 250 miles an hour at a rank of 1,300. That's, that's fast, okay? And its acceleration is really good. Its nitro efficiency is also pretty good. Its drifting and handling are pretty bad, but that's okay, because that doesn't really matter, unless it's the Mercedes SLK Special Edition. This car. Guys, I hope every single one of you gets it, because it is pretty as an old car, which is... I mean, I don't like old cars, okay? So, I think this car is pretty and beautiful. I love it. It's one of my best multiplayer cars in the game. And the decals for this car are also pretty sick. Like the one I have right now, it's black and yellow. It's so yellow it looks like cheese. I want some cheese, man. Boy, no. The number three spot in our list is the Cadillac 16 concept, which is the final licensed car in the game at 1600 licenses. It is impossibly hard to get. I only have 1300 licenses, so I'm 300 away from getting this car. So it's gonna take me a few months till I can get this car, but hopefully I can get it soon. This car. Sucks at drifting, sucks at handling, has pretty good nitro, sucks at top speed. It's a really, really bad car. I'm gonna use it in multiplayer to just troll around, that's pretty much it, but it's a bad car. Only good thing, once again, licensed cars, they offer some pretty good mastery stuff. Bunch of tuning kits, a bunch of nitro starters, and a bunch of extra tanks. I believe you get 16 extra tanks when you max pro this car. It's a lot, but it's a crap car. So I don't have this car yet, I hope I can get it soon. I hope all you guys can get it, but that's our number three spot. Our number two spot might surprise you a little bit, but I don't think it should, because it's a really rare car. It is the best multiplayer car in the game, and it goes to the highest rank in the game too of 1828. It is the Mercedes SLK Special Edition. This car was offered to what, the top uh, 40 in a, in a cup? And it was 13,000 tokens until it was switched to 18 legendary blueprints. I hate the blueprint system, it's a waste of time, it's a waste of cards, it's terrible, it's so hard to get. I believe only, I think less than 150 people have this car in the game, but it's awesome. Acceleration sucks, handling sucks, drifting sucks, top speed is wowzers. It goes 340 miles an hour at max pro, and it can actually go 315 miles an hour at a really, really small rank of 1300. And it's best tuning, it's in its 1200 rank, and it can go over 300. That's insane, guys. I want this car so bad. I want to, you know, feel the terrible handling of this car, but I never got the chance. Not in multiplayer tune, at least. So, I want this car. Good luck at getting 18 legendary blueprints, guys. I got one out of 18, so I'm on track to get it in 15 years. Yeah! Okay, this number one spot was just too obvious, so I'm gonna speed through it, because it's boring. Everybody knows this. The most expensive car in the game and the most rarest car in the game. 
GTA Spawno 2015. It was Gameloft's way of getting a crap ton of money from us. Costing $4,000 to just unlock, it is still expensive to max in Pro, so I think only a couple of people have this car. It is a collector's item, it's a terrible car, and it's expensive, like $4,000 guys. Do you know how many real things you can buy in real life? You could buy a crappy Ford truck. Okay, yeah. This car, man, just, oh my god. Don't spend $4,000 on this game, guys. VIP level 15, that's some bull, okay? My god. <laughs> hope you enjoyed that video, guys. I hope that was an interesting video, because I tried incorporating more funny stuff. Tell me if you liked it or not. I honestly loved it, because it was pretty hilarious. I did get hurt. My tongue's still bleeding, and my back still hurts. And I took my Tylenol, but it's it hurts a lot still. But anyways, please subscribe if you haven't already. Let's try to get to 5,000 subscribers within the next couple of months. I know we can do it, guys. Let's do it. We are the cheesy champs. We are number one, okay? Actually, no. I'm like number seven in the Asphalt 8 YouTuber community. But no. Number seven, you know? Top ten. So I'm so cool. Thanks for, thanks for watching.